Michael Jones, yeah. Clump of white goes in here. In that clump. And then get your glass of wine. That goes up here. And what this corkscrew does that not many others do, so it's going to pour us a glass of wine once it's actually uh, opened the bottle. So all you have to do to operate it is just turn this handle. So as I turn the handle, what's going to happen is the corkscrew is going to drop down onto the bottle. It's going to find the bottle of wine and it's going to lock itself in place. Wow. So now it's locked in place. You can see the actual corkscrew itself is in here. So that's going to start to drive itself into the bottle before it starts to open it. So now that it's all the way in, what's actually going to happen is going to reverse direction and it's going to start to pull the cork out of the bottle. So you see as the spanner starts to pull apart, that's what's kind of pulling it up back to the bottle. So here, here it comes. That's actually amazing. So now the cork's coming out of the bottle. Now it's all the way out. These pincers wow. are going to take the cork off the corkscrew and keep hold of it. So now that the bottle's open, the corkscrew's oh. done its job, so it's just going to get itself out of the way and give us a little bit of space to pour the wine. So that's what that bell's for. The bell wow, is telling us that, uh, that that's done. We have to go off. The bell's telling us that the bottle opener has it's finished its job and it's virtually ready to go. So I'm going to give it a couple more twists. Yeah, it is a bit different. And now the machine's going to take over. The fingers crossed that it's going to pour us a glass of wine. <laughs> oh my god.